Five Nights Freddy's Free, sequel or prequel to Five Nights Freddy's 2. Here are five things I want in Five Nights Freddy's Free. Enjoy. <laughs> Number five, improved custom night. Again. The custom night be so much more than just how many of these things do you want and how much do you want them fucking you up. No, no, a lot more could be done with this. The phone guy mentions retrofitting the animatronics to new parts. What do the parts do? What do the old ones do? Could we decide what parts some animatronics have? Like a mix and match part system. What about some dark rooms only animatronics with night vision can go through? Or maybe animatronics with the parts to crawl can go through air vents. Some could recognize you when you're wearing a mask. Some could lock and unlock doors. Some could disable cameras. And there could even be like a part shop you could buy new parts from. Where'd you get the money from? Well, do you remember those paychecks you get from Night 5 Night 6? Yeah, let's give that money a use. More money? Go beat Night 5 or 6 again. <laughs> Number 4, more noises and hallucinations. How creepy was it in the first game when you checked on a camera you had checked earlier in the night, but all the posters were different? What about the Bonnie and Freddy heads that randomly popped up on screen? The first time you heard Foxy's power song? Creepy as fuck. There needs to be more things like this in the third game. Maybe have it so that sometimes when you check the camera you can still see children running down a hallway. Or maybe have one of the animatronics still turned on singing like it was in the daytime. How creepy would it be to see Bonnie still moving on stage when Freddy and Chica are just lifeless suits? And speaking of singing, give all of them voices! I don't want us to see when Bonnie and Chica are coming to fuck me up. I want to be able to hear it. Throw in some taunts, maybe have them say a few things they normally say in the day, but glitched. So it adds so much more to the atmosphere of the game, and probably add something to people's pants they didn't want there. Uh, moving on. <laughs> Number three, more animations. Animatronics should move when you look at them on cameras. The closest we ever had to this was Bonnie or Chica glitching in the first game, but what if it was done with every animatronic? It looked pretty cool to see Bonnie actually playing the bass or guitar for once. Freddy could be moving zombies around or singing, Foxy could get his running animation back, and when they're close to you, they can start glitching out like they did in the original game. Make stuff move, dammit! <laughs> Number 2, Day Shifts. Oh, weird to pick, I know, but OH MY GOD, IT'D BE COOL! You could look around the building in daylight and see, like, birthdays and kids going on arcade machines and stuff, while the animatronics are still acting somewhat normally on stage. Your job may make sure they don't attack any children if they move. Maybe give the player an air horn rather than a flashlight to one kid to get away. It'd change the game a lot, sure, but maybe just add as an extra for night 6 or something. Or maybe after they beat the game, let them replay the 5 nights on day shift instead. More replayability. The game will last a longer and people feel like they got their money's worth. <laughs> Number 2, Day Shifts. As I was saying, replayability, dammit! Five Nights Freddy's is not a game you can play every day. Usually after completing it, you get very bored of it. Many other YouTubers have voiced this complaint, and it is an issue with the series. Again, adding a more extensive aftergame and more customability on Secret Nights would help solve this, but this isn't the only reason I want Scott to spend more time on this. Five Nights Freddy's 2 is basically shot out in two months, and it shows. The game has a lot of minor glitches that really shouldn't be there at all, a lot of the ideas, especially secret characters, feel very rushed, and like more of an afterthought rather than a beforethought. Bloom Girl, whatever the fuck this thing is, is seriously just a recolor of Bloom Boy. Not very creative. Really, I understand the pressure to keep the hype for the series going, but Scott really should take some time with this. Aim for at least a 2015 release, to give him some time to make the game more developed, so it feels better to play. You're still here? You actually made it to the end of the video, wow. Congratulations, I have a free cupcake plushie. And hey, if you like the video, feel free to click that subscribe button. I play a lot of other games too, and I'm funny... sometimes. So, you should subscribe, make me feel better, and I'll throw in a free Floxy plushie as well. Good boy.